Hi friends, it's Julia. I'm here to share a layout that I created for Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches Round 6. This is actually day 21. And for this, I am using my October 2019 Counterfeit Kit Challenge Kit. This kit has really stretched, but I'm getting down to the end. I don't have many larger pieces of paper, and you can see that one is one that uh, the base page on this is white because it's the back side of a piece of paper with typewriters on them. I'm not going to use that paper for anything, so I thought why not utilize the back. I have these um, scraps from a different kit that I had together. Uh, I can't remember if it was a scrapbooking kit or if it was a card kit, but I had it together already, um, and these are just the scraps left over, and they're all white-based, so they are going along with this fairly well. So I decided to make this kind of a hodgepodge layout. Um, I'm going to piece it together almost like a quilt. Um, I am going to have a rough square shape. Um, or a rectangular shape that houses my photos or most of my photos and embellishments. But as I'm going along here, you can see I had initially had that piece of uh, yellow paper stuck down, the yellow with the polka dots on it stuck down. And of course, you guys, if you've watched any of my videos, you know a layout isn't complete until I rip something up to move something around. And I think that may be the case, hopefully the only case on this one. I'm going to go through and I'm going to piece all of my uh, pattern papers together for the background. Um, and I'll just cut down and try and make everything work like I want it to. No guarantees that <laughs> you're going to like how it looks. And I'll tell you, this isn't my favorite layout. But it was really fun to get all of these scraps used up on the page. And it really gives it an eclectic look which I do like that. I don't like all of my layouts to look exactly the same. And to know that these are papers that I threw into my kit this year. Um, when I brought that October 2019 kit over into October 2020, I added these scraps to it. And knowing that I can get these scraps in there and get them used um, has been pretty awesome. And to use them in such a unique way that that not you may not have normally expected them to be used, like putting them together as puzzle pieces almost, if you will. And you'll see as I go across here, I really make some interesting selections and choices in putting things. Now, if the piece of paper was just laying there as a whole, um, and you were just looking at it, you might look at it and go, what are you doing? Um, but I really, I like how it turned out as a whole. Um, yeah, I'll commit to that. But once I get my photos and my embellishments down, it's maybe not my favorite. <laughs> um, it's I'm not going to tear everything apart. I'm not going to redo anything. It's going into my album as a done layout. But, you know, I have come to the realization over the course of many years in realizing that not every layout is going to be my favorite, and that's okay. It really doesn't have to be. I'm liking that I'm able to tuck these bits and pieces around the layout um, to make everything line up. The photos themselves are going to be from a Victoria Marie scrapbook retreat that I went to um, in October 2018. And I don't think in doing the layout that I added the date down, um, but I have since gone back in and added it. And all of those little potty people that you see laying there, um, I'm so glad I was finally able to get a ton of those used on this layout. This one in my last layout, I used a ton of those little potty people. 
which is so fun. Um, I haven't used them in forever. And when they first came out, I was a little bit hesitant to play with them. But then I thought, yeah, I'm going to play with them. And once I started, then I needed like four packages. And so you know how many come in one single package. There's like 50 gajillion in one package. So by the time you get four packages, you've got 1170 bajillion more. Um, yeah. So yeah, I've got all these little bits and pieces of border strips and I am just tucking them here and there, uh, trying to make them work. Little areas, I've got a little area, um, well there I'm going to make a third little banner strip. You know, you can never have just two banner strips in my mind's eye, you've got to have three, right? Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one that thinks that way, but yeah, it can be a little bit frustrating. And so there I'm just uh, clipping down the edges to um, give them a little bit of interest. And I'm, like I said, I'm I'm looking for a bit of paper to make that into a complete rectangle shape on that right side of the layout. So you've got the entire from the yellow paper, those papers tucked under that, all the way over to the right edge. It's almost a complete rectangular shape. And now you can see I cut my photos down. Uh, I think they're two by two or they may be just a bit smaller than two by two. And then I have the two there in the center. They were actually two different four by six photos, but they were taken on a staircase. So when you looked at them, um, when you looked at the, the top aiming down where you got the people on the top part of the staircase, the bottom ones, the photo wasn't good. And the same with the bottom looking up, you got a great shot of the people on the bottom, but not on the top. So I just cut each of those photos in half where the center of the uh, stairwell was and I put them down um, and I think only one person carries over from one to the other. Now I'm going to get some uh, photos laid around of some different people um, and if you look of course Victoria Marie is in the center photo she's in the bottom right corner um, but I'm trying to think other YouTubers uh, in the photo that I'm going to add over to the bottom right in the very back there is Alyssa. She has a channel um, where she creates scrapbook layouts um, and she does an amazing job watching her at a scrapbook retreat. Um, she can crank some layouts out guys. If you haven't seen her channel, please head over there and, and give her some love. And of course, I bet everybody's already seen Victoria Marie's. Um, and I think it was the summer, the summer before this one, when we were there in, I want to say it was August, um, I think Tuesday Hubbard was there. So I felt like I'm in the presence of, you know, between Victoria and Tuesday Hubbard and Alyssa, I feel like I'm, you know, with all the scrapbooking rock stars. And of course, you guys know that is my goal in life is to be a scrapbooking rock star, right? <laughs> um, here, I just added down this tag. Now, this tag actually came, I think, on either a purse or a sweater. I don't remember which. But it said heart soul on it. And so I used an ampersand and put friends, put one of those little square tiles that say friends on it. So it says heart, soul, and friends. Um, and that's really when you scrapbook in the, in the company of others, you realize you may not have the same lifestyle. You may not have anything in common away from scrapbooking, but by golly, you have scrapbooking in common. So you all have that, um, you arrange photos, photo opportunities to create scrapbook pages or um, we all have the same issue with having too much paper or 
Um, you know what I mean. So whenever you're around your scrappy tribe, um, they truly are your best scrappy friends. And you may not know them or you may have just met them five minutes before, um, but they really and truly are. And so I just love, love, love uh, this hobby and getting to go to places and uh, go to retreats and scrapbook with other people. So here I'm adding down my little girl potty people all over the layout. And I'm getting close to getting done with this. Uh, and I'm looking for a little piece of ribbon to go right in that uh, tag there. And that little piece of ribbon, guys, I had a spool of this. Um, it was aqua to green to um, teal, um, the most beautiful color ribbon you ever saw. And I kept the least little piece. It was probably six inches long. I would not throw it away. Um, and you see why. Um, I eventually got it used. And so here, that's another little piece of a ribbon that I think I used. No, that's from a piece that I cut the, um, I haven't completely used that roll up. I had cut a piece off and cut off more than what I needed, so I saved that little piece, and so I'm finally getting to use it. And so I do that, especially with the ribbons that I love. Um, I hang on to every little bit and piece of them. The title I put down is one from Felicity Jane, and because it was on that background paper with the orange tone to it, um, it kind of washed it out, so I took a pen a Sharpie pen and went around and created a shadow around the alphabet to make it pop just a little bit more. And then I'm not sure if I show it on here or not. I may have done it after I turn the camera off. I go around um, the layout, not on the edge of the white paper, but along the edge of the pattern paper and create a uh, doodle border around that and you'll see the close-ups here in just a minute at the end anyway i just want to say thanks for showing up and watching my video today guys and i will see you on the next video don't forget stay for the close-ups bye bye